started. We're a couple minutes early, so while we wait for our other friends, let's get some wiggles out. Do you guys remember the happy and your, if you're happy and you know it song? Okay, let's try. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. What's the next one? Stomp your feet, right? If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Now we're gonna shout hooray, are you ready? If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. Can we do all three? <clears throat> all three things, clap your hands, stomp your feet, shout hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! Great job, friends. That was fun. Okay, you probably noticed I have this thing behind me. This is really cool. Today, we are gonna be talking about some fish. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about this, but I think we should sing our hello song and get started, right? Hands go up and hands go down. I can turn myself around. I can stand up on one shoe. I can listen. And so can you. I can sit. I'll show you how. Story time is starting now. Okay, so all about fish. This time of year, lots of Alaskans fish for a certain kind of fish. Does anybody know what that is? Oops, I don't want to look at the ceiling. That kind of fish is a salmon. And this really cool poster here, sorry, my camera is a little wobbly. This really cool poster here shows us about the life cycle of a salmon. That means from when they're babies all the way to grownups, and then they come back and they die, right? That's like a life cycle. So. First, they start out as eggs in the water, okay? And then the eggs become these little tiny fish in the water, in the fresh water, till they get big enough to go out into the ocean where they live for a few years. And then they come back to the stream because it's time for them to lay eggs, right? That's pretty cool. Who knew there was different kinds of salmon? Let's see what this one says. This one says chum or dog salmon. This one says pink or humpy salmon. And over here we have a Chinook or king salmon. We have a coho or silver salmon, and we have a sockeye or red salmon. How many kinds is that, friends? Let's count them. These are all the salmon that are around Alaska. Let's count how many kinds. One, two, three, four, five. Five different kinds of salmon, that's pretty cool. Let's move this camera again, just a little bit more. And let's read some stories about fish. All kinds of fish. I mean, there's more kinds of fish than just salmon, right? I mean, there's a tons, tons of kinds. There's trout, and there's halibut, and there's snapper, and there's, oh, 
Can you think of a few? Yeah, who likes to go fishing? Okay, I have this book, Fish Eyes, a book you can count on. This is fun, we'll do some more counting. Whoa, look at that. If you could put on a suit of scales and some fins and one of these tails, I'd close my eyes and then I'd wish that I'd turn into a beautiful fish. I'd flip down rivers and splash in the sea. This one says, will you dance with me? I'd swim so far, you could never catch me. I'd see, this one says, follow me. One green fish. One green fish plus me makes two. Do you see that little black fish down there? Can you see him? Two jumping fish. One, two. Two jumping fish plus me makes three. Three smiling fish. One, two, three. And three smiling fish plus me makes Four. Four striped fish. One, two, three, four. Four striped fish plus me makes five. Five spotted fish. One, two, three, four, five. Five spotted fish plus me makes six. Six fan-tailed fish. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six fan-tailed fish plus me makes seven. Seven flipping fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven flipping fish plus me makes eight. Eight skinny fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And eight skinny fish plus me makes nine. Nine flashy fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And nine flashy fish plus me makes ten. Ten darting fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my goodness. Ten darting fish. So long. Well then, I'd keep swimming until I could see all of those fish eyes looking at me. Great counting, friends. I have a little fish rhyme we could do, and it's more counting. Can you put up five of your fingers? That's one hand, right? Five little fishies swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, quiet as can be, and snatches a fish right out of the sea. How many are left? If we snatch one, one, two, three, four, four little fishes swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch us. <clears throat> Along comes Mr. Shark. Quiet as can be, and what do you think happens? And he snatches a fish right out of the sea. How many do we have left? Can you guys see my fingers? One, two, three. Three little fishes swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. And along comes Mr. Shark, quiet as can be, and snatches a fish right out of the sea. How many are left? One, two, 
Two little fishes swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. And along comes Mr. Shark, quiet as can be, and snatches another fish right out of the sea. How many are left? Just one. One little tiny fish. Do you think he learned anything? One little fish swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, quiet as can be, and snatches that baby fish right out of the sea. No fish left. Thanks for counting backwards with me. That was pretty exciting. My next book is a tongue twister. Don't laugh if my tongue gets twisted up. This one is called One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. All right, here we go. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Black fish, blue fish, old fish, new fish. This one has a little star, and this one has a little car. Yes, some are red and some are blue, some are old and some are new, some are sad and some are glad, and some are very, very bad. Why are they sad and glad and bad? I do not know. Go ask your dad. Some are thin and some are fat. The fat one has a yellow hat. From here, from there to here and here to there, funny things are everywhere. Here are some who like to run. They run for fun in the hot, hot sun. Oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my. What a lot of funny things go by. Some have two feet, some have four, some have six, six feet, some have more. Where do they come from? I can't say, but I bet they have come a long, long way. We can see them come, we can see them go. Some are fast and some are slow. Some are high and some are low. Not one of them is like another. Don't ask us why, go ask your mother. Say, look at his fingers, one, two, three. How many fingers do I see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, he has 11. 11, this is something new. I wish I had 11 too. Bump, bump, bump. Did you ever ride a wump? We have a wump with just one hump, but I know a man called Mr. Gump. Mr. Gump has a seven hump wump. So if you'd like to go bump bump, just jump on the hump of the wump of Gump. Who am I? My name is Ned. I do not like my little bed. This is no good, this is not right. My feet stick out of bed all night. And when I pull them in, oh dear, my head sticks out of bed up here. We like our bike, it is made for three. Our mic sits up in the back, you see. We like our mic, and this is why Mike does all the work when the hills get high. Hello there, Ned, how do you do? Tell me, tell me, what is new? How are things in your little bed? What is new, please tell me, Ned. I do not like this bed at all. A lot of things have come to call. A cow, a dog, a cat, a mouse. Oh, what a bed, oh, what a house. Oh dear, oh dear, I cannot hear. Will you please come over near? Will you please look in my ear? There must be something there, I fear. Say, look, a bird was in your ear, but he is out, so have no fear. Again, your ear can hear, my dear. My hat is old, my teeth are gold. I have a bird I like to hold. My shoe is off, my foot is cold. My shoe is off, my foot is cold. I have a bird I like to hold. My hat is old, my teeth are gold, and now my story is all told. We took a look, we saw a nook. On his head, he had a hook. On his hook, he had a book. And on his book was how to cook. We saw him sit and try to cook. He took a look at the book on the hook. But a nook can't read, so a nook can't cook. So what good to a nook is a hook cookbook? The moon was out. We saw some sheep. We saw some sheep take a walk in their sleep. By the light of the moon, by the night light of a star, they walked all night from near to far. I would never walk. I would take a car. I do not like this one so well. All he does is yell, yell, yell. I will not have this one about. When he comes in, I'll put him out. This one is quiet as a mouse. I like to have him in the house. At our house, we open cans. We have to open many cans, and that is why we have a Zans. A Zans for cans is very good. Have you a Zans for cans? You should. 
I like to box. How I like to box. So every day I box a gox in yellow socks. I box my gox in, I box in yellow gox box socks. It is fun to sing if you sing with a yang. My yang can sing like anything. I sing high and my yang sings low. We are not too bad, you know. This one I think is called a yink. He likes to wink. He likes to drink. He likes to drink and drink and drink. He likes to drink. The thing he likes to drink is ink. The ink he likes to drink is pink. He likes to wink and drink pink ink. So if you have a lot of ink, then you should get a yink, I think. Hop, hop, hop. I am a yop. All I like to do is hop from finger top to finger top. I hop from left to right and then hop, hop. I hop right back again. I like to hop all day and night from right to left and left to right. Why do I like to hop, hop, hop? I do not know. Go ask your pop. Brush, 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 comb, 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 comb. Blue hair is fun to brush and comb. All girls who like to brush and comb should have a pet like this at home. Who is this pet? Say, he's wet. You never yet met a pet, I bet, as wet as they let this wet pet get. Did you ever fly a kite in bed? Did you ever walk with 10 cats on your head? Did you ever milk this kind of cow? We can do it, we know how. If you ever did, you should. If you never did, you should. These things are fun and fun is good. Hello, hello, are you there? Hello, I called you up to say hello. I said hello, can you hear me, Joe? Oh no, I cannot hear your call. I cannot hear your call at all. This is not good and I know why. A mouse has cut the wire, goodbye. From near to far, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. These yellow pets are called the Zeds. They have one hair upon their heads. Their hair grows fast, so fast they say they need a haircut every day. Who am I? My name is Ish. I have a hand. I have, on my hand, I have a dish. I have this dish to help me wish. When I wish to make a wish, I wave my hand with a big swish swish, and then I say I wish for fish. And I get fish right on my dish. So if you wish to wish a wish, you may swish for fish with my Ish Wish dish. At our house, we play out back. We play a game called Ring the Gap. Would you like to play this game? Come down. We have the only gack in town. Look what we found in the park in the dark. We will take him home. We will call him Clark. He will live at our house. He will grow and grow. Will our mother like this? We don't know. And now, good night, it's time to sleep. So we will sleep with our pet Zeke. Today is gone, today was fun. Tomorrow is another one. Every day from here to there, funny things are everywhere. Whew. Well, that was a tongue twister. What did you think? Kind of funny? I have one more counting rhyme. And this one goes like this. One, two, three, four, five. Can you do that again? One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Five, after five comes what? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I threw it back again. Why did you let it go? Why would you let a fish go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. Should we do that one again? One, two, three, four, five. Today I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little one on my right. Okay, I have 
one more fun story before our art project. And this one is about a different kind of fish. It's a snapper, a red snapper, and this one's called Little Red Snapper Hood. Let's see if this reminds you of any other stories you know. Once upon a maritime, so very long ago, there lived a lovely snapper fish. She had a red, who had a reddish glow. With crimson cheeks and scarlet fins, she clearly understood why other fish gave her the name Little Red Snapper Hood. One day, her mother said to her, Oh dear, how time does fly. Please rush to Grandma's distant home with this fresh baked octopi. Red swam into a grove of kelp where frightful creatures hide and soon a slimy wolf eel came and slithered to her side. Where is it that you're going, girl? What is it that you brought? The fishing boats are out today. Be careful, don't get caught. I'm going to my grandmama's and bringing octopi. I shouldn't speak to strangers, sir. So thank you and goodbye. She scurried off across the reef as fast as she could swim. The eel, he chose a shorter way, a route known just to him. He got there first and chased old Gran. Give me your oyster bed. He snuggled in and covered up and took her place instead. The red snapper knocked upon the door. The door shell didn't chime. Come in, my dear, the, ear the eel called out. It's nearly supper time. Oh, Grandma, what big eyes you have to see you with, my dear. And what sharp teeth are in your mouth? Come closer over here. But the snapper sensed this wasn't Graham. I don't think I should. Then Wolf Eel jumped from Grandma's bed and caught her by the hood. Oh, no. Red Snapper was quite terrified. Oh, she cried, don't let me die. But Wolf Eel just ignored her pleas and snagged the octopi. He was hungry. Do you have some topping, dear? Grape jellyfish or such? A little dab of all a mode would add the perfect touch. Boy, he didn't ask for pie nicely. They both slurped down the octopi, Red Snapper and the Beast, when Grandma joined the chummy pair, it was a joyful feast. And so you see, my little fish, both ignorance and loathing can make us fear potential friends disguised in wolf eel clothing. I think that would have gone better if that eel had just asked nicely, don't you? Hmm. Well, our project today, and I'll load it up. So mom or dad can print it, or you can stop by the library and pick one up, is a salmon. And these are fun to decorate. You may decorate them any way you like, stripes and rainbow colors. And this one has dots. Look at mine. Isn't he cute? I do hope you'll come by the library and get some books and maybe an art project to do. Um, you guys could also come and pick up our summer reading program bookmarks. Those are kind of fun, um, and that tracks your reading for the summer. And there are prizes if you turn them back in with, your, um, with the right amount of reading marked off by mom or dad. I'm really glad you joined me today, and I hope to see you again next week. Same time, same place. Have a great week, friends. Talk to you soon.